Welcome back to Yacht Addiction. I'm standing on board of Fleming 55. Fleming builds the ultimate cruising yacht built for long distance travel across oceans. I don't have a lot of time for this tour and also the owners actually live aboard this yacht so we can't open everything up but we can do a quick walkthrough. This yacht is very impressive. I think you're going to really like it. So we're starting on the side deck but we're going to make our way back to the cockpit. You have plenty of space in this area to throw in some extra chairs or cushions on top of these seats here. And there is a fixed swim platform right off the back. You do have a docking station aft on the cockpit. You have your throttle control as well as a bow and stern thruster. So let's step inside this main salon you can see all of the beautiful woodwork that you get on this yacht. There's a built-in wine fridge. Then you have an L-shaped seating area right here with another set T on the starboard side. There's a TV that rises up right here. And then this table can be moved. So you can move this back into the cockpit if you want to dine back there. And it also folds out to increase the space. Like I said, Fleming is built for long distance travel. Flemings are capable of crossing oceans. So when you do encounter those rough seas, you do have a handrail up on the ceiling. And then forward of this main living area is the galley. Once again, built to handle heavy seas. These will keep your pots and pans on the Mila induction cooktop. You have a convection oven full-size twin sink, a built-in dishwasher, and then opposite of that, you have a full-size refrigerator and freezer. So we're gonna quickly step down to the cabins. This is a three cabin layout. So here is the third cabin. You have two single berths in a bunk bed style. This bed will slide out You have a full-size washer and dryer. Here is the second cabin or the VIP cabin. You have a double bed in here and there's also space for an additional single berth. The second and third cabins will share the day head, which is right here. You have a full separate shower stall. And then forward is the master cabin. You have a large double bed, and this bed will lift up for some extra storage. Like I said, the owners currently live aboard this yacht, so we are going to respect their privacy. You have some hatches overhead. And then here is the ensuite for the master. Another separate shower stall. and a towel rack. You see that beautiful woodwork all throughout the yacht, not just in the main salon. So this does have that classic cruiser design. So the pilot house is up ahead. You have a custom stid helm seat with a large steering wheel. And then look at this beautiful all glass cockpit. You have four large screens that all can be configured. Here you can see the camera system on the yacht. See your VHF radio. You have a FLIR night vision system. And then here is the bonding system for the boat. This controls all of the boat's functions and you can monitor all the systems from here. And you also have your autopilot control. Here's your throttle control as well as the bow and stern thrusters. You also have some controls overhead. You can see you have a depth finder. And a lot of these systems are actually duplicated. So you have some redundant systems on this boat. And then there's a large compass forward. One thing I wanna quickly point out, you can see the electrical panel. And you can see how beautifully wired this is from inside.
and it's the same on the opposite side. You have side access doors on either side of the pilot house. You also have another L-shaped seating area and a table. So from the pilot house, you can access the flybridge and you can also access it from the stairs, which are aft. But here's another double or even triple helm seat with your large steering wheel and another really nice set of controls up here. You have two more multifunction displays. You have tons of seating space up here. And then here is your crane and your tender. There's another docking station all the way aft. And there's also a small grill up here on the flat bridge. So we'll head outside through one of the side access doors and you'll also see there are doors on the side to step onto the yacht. Moving forward, you have a Portuguese bridge. And then you have two anchors up front. Like I said, a lot of redundancy on this yacht. Let's quickly go check out the engine room and then we'll wrap up the tour. You're going to be very impressed with the performance on this yacht. So we're going to crawl forward and check out these engines which are underneath the main salon. This yacht comes with a pair of Cummins QSC 8.3 engines, they're 500 horsepower each. Top speed is about 19 knots. You can cruise at 17, although most likely you'll be cruising in the single digits. At 8 or 9 knots you'll get about 2,000 miles of range on this yacht. It's very impressive and if you drop it down you can go a couple more thousand miles. So you do have to squat down or crawl to access this section of the engine room, but one thing I'm noticing is it's extremely clean in here. This is due to the air intake system. It keeps all of the salt water out of this area. So the engine room is impressively clean. And most of that salt spray will hit the lazarette area where you just have storage for fenders and lines, things like that. None of the actual engine components are getting sprayed. So we are gonna finish the tour in the galley here. Thank you to Burr Yacht Sales for letting me do the tour. Their website will be linked down in the description if you want to see this yacht or others like it in greater detail. Until next time.